Hi, Alicia here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to decide my May TBR. Pew, 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 pew. Yo. So every month as part of my monthly TBR, I have a little D20 here and I will roll this d20 three times. And with each number that it lands on, I have a reading prompt associated with that number that, it's, that is designed to exclusively make me read something that exists on my physical TBR already. I, like most readers, am a very chaotic reader, so I have a very hard time prioritizing books that I already own and always want to get that like new book that I, that I don't need, but I do it anyways. So this is really just a challenge to help me prioritize things that I physically own. I only roll the dice three times so that I have a concrete list of something that I must read, but then also have lots of flexibility for the other things that I read so that I don't fall into a reading slump. So I won't go over my April books quite yet. I will do that in my April wrap up video that is upcoming. So I have three rolls, three pomp prompts, I pick three books and then challenge myself to read those in the month and then everything else is a free for all. So without further ado, let's get into those rolls. So roll number one is the number 11 and that is to use a random letter generator to pick a letter from A to Z and then to pick a book that either starts with that letter or have pick a book where the author's name starts with that letter. So I've got a random uh, letter generator website up on my phone. I'm gonna pop it up there and then we will um, We'll, we'll see what we get. So right now it's got the letter O. That was the prompt that came up uh, last month when this prompt came up. So I'm just gonna click the old button there and I get the letter B. So we are going to pick a book or an author that starts with the letter V. So with my first roll, I will be reading Violet by Scott Thomas. This is perfect because Violet is one of my five star prediction books so I'm really stoked to get to this. This is the second book by this author. I read Kill Creek last year and it was one of my favorite books of last year. Violet is I'm imagining more of an emotional psychological horror. It I've heard it's, it's a bit of a slow burn which I'm excited to get into. This is about a woman who revisits the summer cabin house of her childhood. There should be great memories associated with this cabin, but unfortunately this is the cabin where her mother died. So she hasn't been there since then, and I'm imagining that there'll be a lot of grief, a lot of trauma, and then a lot of possibly supernatural horror, more than, more than just her memories waiting for her at this cabin. I am, have been highly anticipating this book. I when I highly anticipate books, I don't read them. That's just the thing that I do. I, they just sit on, myself, on my shelf, not being read. So I am excited for the push. Now on to roll number two. With roll number two, we got the number 15, which is probably just my favorite number because it is to read a horror book, woot. With that, I will be reading The White Road by Sarah Lotz. This is also one of my highly anticipated five-star prediction books, so I'm just really hoping May is going to be the best month. I haven't heard a lot about this book. It just really seems like something I will enjoy. This is about a guy who's got some very new... Uh, internet fame from a like expedition that he did. He filmed something, him doing some like extreme hiking or something, and he got an internet following from that. So now to capitalize on his fame, he's like, I'm gonna go climb Everest and I'm gonna film it. And I am imagining that he is either not prepared for his trip or something goes wrong on his trip and it turns into a bit of a survival isolation horror on. Everest. So I feel like this is going to be a book where the protagonist is kind of a dingus, but but still, you know, you're worried for him. Scary shit goes on. 
So I am really excited to dig into this for my horror prompt with the number 15. Now on to the third and final roll. So with roll three, we got a 19, which is to read a book that is not a conventional novel. So this can be anything that you can dream up that's just not a standard novel. This could be a short story collection, it could be a manga, it could be a graphic novel, it could be a comic book, you could read that cookbook you've been meaning to read, it could be anything that's just not a conventional novel. So for myself, I will be reading Everything That's Underneath by Christy Demeester. This is a horror anthology short story collection. There's about 18 or 19 short stories in here. I have not read this author before, but I have just been highly anticipating this collection. So I'm, I want to go into it without uh, really digging too hard into it because short stories, it's, it's kind of hard to read a synopsis without getting the whole story. So this is what I'll, I will be reading for roll number so those were uh, my three roles. These are the three uh, books I will be prioritizing in the month of May from my D20 challenge. There are definitely more books that I'm hoping to get to in May as well, but these are the ones that I'm pushing myself to read and anything else is just cherry on that cake. So until, uh, until next time, pals. See ya.